Listo. Hola, hola. Ahí viene, sí, cabal. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Good evening, Buenas noches. Good evening. How are good you evening. today? Pretty I'm good. Very fine. Very fine. We're okay. We are okay. Awesome. Ready to class. Awesome. Ready, no. ready for the class. You are ready for the class. Great. Remember that for ready. this for this week, this is going to be the last class. Okay. We study just from Monday to Thursday. So tomorrow, yeah, right. no classes. Okay. So no it's your day off. Tomorrow. Yeah. Day off, right? <laughs> That's your day off. Okay. Weekend long. Yeah, a long weekend. Uh -huh. La, long weekend, excellent. A long weekend, that's great. Okay, guys, uh, we're going to continue with the topic related to the uh, simple past. Do you remember how many pronunciations do we have in the simple past? How many pronunciations? We have... Uh -huh. Three. Three. Uh -huh. Three. What are those pronunciations? Do you remember? Um, yes, I D, T, mm -hmm. and D. <laughs> okay. I'm reading right now. <laughs> you are reading. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. So we have three, right? Right. <clears throat> Great. Now, in what type of birds do we have in English? What types of verbs do we have in English? Two different regular verbs and regular and irregular verbs. Okay, we have regular verbs and we also have irregular verbs. Irregular. Oscar, what is the past of right? The past of right is road. Is road. Thank you. Carlos, what is the past of do? Did. Excellent. Lourdes, what is the past of forget? God. Forgot. Okay. Vicente, what is the past of understand? Understood. Okay. Lorena, what is the past of fly? The past of fly. Teacher Lourdes, seis o Lorena? Lorena Menjiva. Ah, okay, flu. Flu. Okay. Um... Give me the the past of study, Carlos. Oh, I don't know, teacher. I don't what? know. I don't remember. I don't remember. Uh huh. Oscar, <laughs> what is the past of study? Uh, studied. Studied. Excellent. Studied. So what? What is the past of stop, Vicente? Stopped. Stopped. Excellent. Great. Okay. Uh, Maria Jose, what is the past of catch? Sorry? What is the past of catch? Catch. Mm -hmm. Caught? Caught. Catch is caught. Caught. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Thank you, guys. Thank you for participating. Right? Let me go ahead okay. and share my computer's screen. You will be able to see it. Okay. Just give me some seconds. I think it's loading. Okay. Yesterday, we studied the yes, no questions, okay? So, 
if I yeah. ask you, if I ask you, do you eat pupusas today? What will be your answer, Carlos? Oh, no, I did. I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay. If I ask you, uh, do you take a shower today? What will be your answer? Jenny Elizabeth. Do you take a shower today? What will be your answer? Jenny? Ajá, no está en clase, solo ha puesto la imagen. Vaya, las clases se están grabando. Si bien es cierto, no pasa una lista, pero las clases las observan. Todas las clases las observan. Todo lo que decimos, todo lo que participamos, siempre las escuchan. Luis, Giovanni, en Andrea, enciendan la cámara, por favor. Si por alguna razón están teniendo inconveniente, háganmelo saber. Pero es Yo reglamento... Y ah, okay. La... ok, es un reglamento que siempre tengan las cámaras encendidas, solo en casos que por obvia razón no puedan encenderlas, pero de lo contrario sí es necesario. <coughs> ok, great, let's continue guys. Let me go ahead and share my computer screen and I want to share something really important. Uh, Jenny says, está lloviendo. Okay, thank you, Jenny. Something really important, guys, because you need to complete the platform on your own. Okay? Let we me can go see ahead. it. Okay, can you see the computer screen? That's great. Yeah, right. Yes. Awesome. Awesome. So, yesterday, we were studying the use of uh, just no questions in the simple past. So, if I say, uh, do you go to work? Your answer will be, yes, I did. No, I didn't. Easy, correct? Right. All right. Now, take into consideration that we also have a past time expressions in the simple past. It's really important for you to know that we have past time expressions. For example, you had yesterday. Continue, Carlos. Last last week, uh -huh. last last month, one week ago, two months ago, three years ago, yesterday, yesterday morning. Thank you. Uh, continue, Oscar. In one thousand ninety nine, the In day before yesterday. Oh yeah, thanks. Mm -hmm. 1990, mm -hmm. the day before yesterday, yes, in March, mm -hmm. on Sunday, mm -hmm. when I was, uh, pardon, when I was wo bo wo born, <laughs> when, I, when was I was born, born. Sorry. when I was born, okay, here you say the, the day before the yesterday, day. Oh, before the yesterday. day, yes, the, the day before yesterday. Okay. Okay. Is that, that clear? Clear, teacher. It's that clear. Day. Thanks. Okay. And when do you say D? When do you say D? You say D when you have a when the next word starts with a vowel. That's when you say D. When the next word star it starts with a vowel. And with what happens, teacher, if it's not a vowel? Oh, if it's not a vowel, you say da. Okay. Da. Da and D. Da and D. Okay. Okay. All right. I got it. Awesome. Let's continue. That was just for you to know. Start writing in my neighborhood. <laughs> in your neighborhood? Yeah, start writing. Oh, it'll start, it'll start to 
it raining. Mm -hmm. Raining. Okay. <clears throat> so yesterday we studied the use of yes, no questions. But today we are going to start study the use of information questions. With yes, no questions, if I ask you, do you take a shower today? Your answer will be yes, I did or no, I didn't. But yeah. with WH questions or with information questions, you need to provide extra information. These are the uh, WH words that we have in English. So when you use when to ask about time, you use why to ask about reason, you use wish to ask about choices. You use whom to ask about people. You use what to ask for information. information. You use where to ask about places. places. You use whose to ask about possessions. Okay. You use who to ask about people and you use how to ask about processes or manner. Questions right. so far? <clears throat> now, do you teacher, have any question? Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I I uh -huh. see two uh, at the same about the people, whom, whom and who. What is the difference about that? Thank you for asking. This is the first time a student asked that question. Thank you. <laughs> okay, you. whom and who? Those are used for people. Who is informal? And whom is formal? Okay, I got it. For example, you can say, to whom do you send the flowers? And who do you send the flowers to? If you see the structure, changes completely. But I'm asking about people. To whom do you send the flowers? And who do you send the flowers to? Do you understand that? Hmm. You I, say I, whom may, uh, may, formal and who is formal, who formal. is informal. Informal, okay. Mm -hmm. so we are can, taking can re repeat the, the example, teacher, please. Who who informal? Do you do you send the flowers to? And to whom do you send the flowers? <clears throat> to whom do you send the flowers? Okay. Is that clear? More yes. <laughs> okay. All right, let's continue. Okay. Now, there you have, remember that we need to use past time expressions to ask this type of questions. Is that clear? Past time expressions. Yes. Past time. Okay. Okay. So, um, there you have who. Look at this. Look at this example. Who did I go? Um, let's see. Who did I see yesterday? Who did I see yesterday? If you ask yourself that question, who did I see yesterday? What will be your answer? I see a friend. What is the past to see? I saw. Uh, uh, I, saw. Uh -huh. I saw a friend. I saw a friend. Exactly. What do you play? The last weekend, Carlos. Uh, what did you play the last weekend? I um the pass of the play is um, uh -huh. pl uh, can you remember that because played 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 okay. thank you. I okay I played uh uh football. <clears throat> okay, thank you. Um, where, <coughs> Vicente, where yes. do you go 
on vacation? I went to Panama. Okay. Why do you, uh, let's see. Why do you fight with your brother? Oscar, why do you fight with your brother last Saturday? Uh, because um, we we have um um sorry I don't I don't remember how do you I say in English desacuerdo. Uh, okay, you can say that one, or. You can also say a misunderstanding. Oh, well. Or yeah. disagreement. Desacuerdo. Bien, calidad. Mm -hmm. Gracias. Okay. Thank you. How do you go to school when you were a child? Lourdes. How do you go to school when you were a child? I... Can you repeat the question, please? How do you go to school when you were a child? I wear, no, I want. What um, is the past to go? Goes. Went. went. Goes, went. don't invent. <laughs> Ese went. para presente. Sorry, went. went. Aha, uh -huh. the past to go is went. Aha. Uh -huh. Where, I... where do you go to school? No, how? Oh, sorry. How do you go to school? Me desconcentraron. How do you go to school? Do you go by bus, by car, by yes. motorcycle, by train? I went, uh, uh -huh. I went on bus. I went to school by bus. By bus. Evelyn, what is? Why? Let's see. Uh, when... Do you read a book? Excuse me, permiso. It's okay. When do you read a book? I I read a book. What is the past to read? Read. I don't remember. Vicente, what is the past to read? Read. Read, the same spelling, different pronunciation. Right. Read, okay. read, read. Carlos, okay. what do you, what do you tell to your wife today in the morning? What do you tell to your wife today in the morning? Uh, I told her that Mm -hmm. She's beautiful, but uh, can I use? Uh, I told uh, her that she's beautiful. Hey, excellent, great. <laughs> yes, <laughs> sure. but, uh, uh -huh. but I can I use, for example, I did tell. No, it's Don't not invent. No, okay. <laughs> si se puede, pero ese ya es inglés básico. Este ya no son básicos. Okay, okay. Eso déjenselo a, a básico uno. Okay, <laughs> great. Okay. What is the past of tell? Told. Told. Okay. I told her I told that her. she is beautiful. Oh. Yes. Excellent. Okay. Excellent. <laughs> by, by checking or studying the questions, I want you to select one of your, one of your classmates and ask a question. Anna. Anna, Sonia, Elizabeth. Yeah, excuse me, repeat the, the answer, the question, please. You need to ask a question to one of your classmates following the examples. Ah, whatever. <clears throat> yeah, you can invent. So let okay. them be free to invent. Uh, where did you go the last Saturday? Excellent. <laughs> where did you go the last Saturday? To whom are you asking to? <clears throat> ¿Escucharon la pregunta que hice? To whom are you asking to? Estoy usando el whom. Ajá. ¿A quién le está preguntando? Ah. <risa> Select eh, the victim. 
a Carlos. Ok. Carlos Excuse is the victim me. today. Only, only me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Can you repeat me, please? The answer. Where did Where you did go you the last Saturday? Ok, ok, ok. Esperen, esperen, esperen. Okay. <laughs> uno por uno. Si vamos a participar, <laughs> levantemos la mano y los que no están usando el micrófono, manténganlo apagado. La pregunta que... Sorry. La, la expresión que dijiste es Can you repeat me? Eso no está correcto. Okay. Can you repeat the question, please? Or can, okay. you, can you repeat that question? Okay. Okay, great. Or can you repeat I it again? It. Yes. Mm -hmm. Can you repeat the question again? Thank you. Okay. Uh, I went I went to my beach house. <laughs> Okay, excellent. Do you have one? Yes. Oh my. Okay, oh my. invite us. <laughs> yes, you are invited. You have a class there. Aha, we can have a class right there. A private okay. one. <laughs> okay. okay. The, 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 the goal at the end of the, this course. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Carlos, the end of the course. Where do you buy the, uh, the beach house? Where oh, do you buy the beach house? Where is it located? It's located in uh, La Libertad. Oh, okay. Excellent. In, San in San Blas. Okay. All right, Carlos, select one of your classmates. Okay, let me choose Evelyn Juarez. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, why did you read? Or no, sorry. Uh, when did you um when did you go? Oh I I don't I don't have in my mind one question. Let me let me formulate. Uh-huh. Uh, What did you do yesterday? For example. Okay. Yesterday I did my lunch. Okay. Select one of your classmates. Ask a question. Um, um, Maria Jose. Uh, no, why did you see this movie? I, I saw Twilight. Okay, Maria Jose, select one of your classmates. Okay, uh, Lorena Mengiva. Where... Where did you go today in the morning? I went, I went to go, I went to uh, take breakfast with my friends. Okay, thank you. Let's continue. Now, um, let's move to the next a topic related to the simple past. In the simple past, we have the past of be. The verb to be in the present is am, is, are, okay? But in the past, we only have two words, was and where. We're going to use was for I, he, she, and it. And we are going to use where for you, we, and they. Is that clear? Clear. It's clear, teacher. Okay. In Spanish, this one just means fui y estuve. Fui y estuve in the past. Take notes. And this word means fueron y estuvieron. 
Is that clear? Clear. Yes. All right. Yes. Too. So you can say, I was a student in my case, right? I'm a teacher, so I was a student. All right. You were a student. You were happy. You were busy today in the morning. Is that clear? Clear. <clears throat> okay, continue with the affirmative, affirmative sentences, please. Sarai, give me affirmative sentences. Uh huh. Sarai Trejo, you are mute. Uh -huh. I was studying before the class. I was not. You can say, remember, this one means yes. Estuve y fui. Y lo que acabas de decir es. Yeah. Fui un estudio de, antes de la clase, eso acabas de decir. Okay. So you have subject plus verb plus was aware. Okay. Was or where. Plus complement. Com plus complement. Okay. In my case, I can say I was. Okay. I was a teacher. I was a teacher. I was happy. Okay. I okay. was. A sad today in the morning. Subject plus was and where plus complement. Is it clear? Clear. Carlos, affirm the sentence, please. Okay. I was um um I was um I was an engineer. I was an engineer. I was mm -hmm. a play a football player. I was a, excellent. Um. Oh, oh, oh for example, in plural, mm -hmm. you, you were happy. You mm -hmm. were an engineers. Okay. Thank you, Vicente. Continue. I was a police. A police officer. Uh huh. Police officer. I, I was, was in my sister's house today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I was a child. Okay. <clears throat> I was a um, driver. Mm -hmm. I was um, a teacher. Okay. That's it. Thank you. Now, let's move to the negative form. Negative form is the same. It's almost the same structure. If you see, you have I, he, she, and it, plus was, plus not. You can say mm -hmm. I, he, she, and it was not or wasn't. Okay? Or you, we, and they, were not or weren't. Now, Where? negative form. Oscar, negative form. Give, me, give me one sentence using negative form. I wasn't a veterinary. Veterinarian. Ana Sonia Elizabeth. Negative. Ana Sonia Elizabeth. You are mute. <clears throat> Luis Ernesto, continue. 
I was sent a uh, police. What? Oh, I wasn't a police. Okay. Yes. All right. I wasn't a police. Eh, por favor, enciendan las cámaras. Tengo muchos con cámaras apagadas. Y los videos los lo revisan todos los días. Si por algo de razón está teniendo inconveniente, hágamelo saber en, en el WhatsApp. Pero necesito que enciendan las cámaras la mayoría, por lo menos. Edgar, continue. Thank you. I wasn't a teacher. I wasn't a teacher. Okay, another one. I, Evelyn. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. you, you weren't on time yesterday. You weren't on time yesterday. Okay, cool. Thank you. Now, let's move to the questions. If you see the auxiliary verb is in front of the subjects and then the question mark. Is that clear? Yep. The same here. The auxiliary verb in front of the subjects. Okay. Carlos, were you busy today? Sorry, teacher. Were you busy today? You visit today. Um, Estuviste ocupado. Were you busy today? Oh, at busy. Work? Busy. I sorry. I heard visit. Mm -hmm. uh, busy. Oh uh, yes. I I was. Yes. Okay. I was. Yes. If it is negative. Yes, I was not. Don't invent. <laughs> yes, I was. No, or, I was not. No, I wasn't or was not. Okay. Is that clear? Yeah, it's clear. Vicente, uh, were yes. you at work today? Yes, I was. If it is negative? No, I wasn't. Excellent. Okay. And you have some information here. It says <clears throat> uh, with the negative, you are going to say he wasn't, okay? But you cannot say he didn't was. Don't invent, okay? So the right sentence will be he wasn't. In the question, uh, you can say, was she a doctor? That is cor the correct sentence. But if you say, did she was? Mm-mm. Because did is an auxiliary and was is an auxiliary. You cannot write two auxiliary verbs in one sentence. Okay. Questions so far? Clear. Clear. Dish. Okay. Remember that if you have any question or doubts, let me know, please. Only one auxiliary in a sentence. Only one auxiliary verb in a sentence. Okay. Okay. Now, let's move with the platform because we need to take advantage, all right? Right. We have some minutes to complete the platform and we're going to do it just now. Just give me one minute. Okay. There you have the knowledge check. Let's see. A, a volunteer, please. You can raise your hand. Which is the correct use? Volunteer. For number one. Chicos, tengo 14, un voluntario. Me goes, my Me? hand is... Ah, know, okay. I don't know how to say arriba. Okay. So, go ahead, complete it, please. Okay, the correct use is, he was born in Spain. Okay, he was born in Spain. 
Uh, Evelyn Juarez, continue. The number one, number two, sorry. Okay. My parents were in France. My parents were in France. Yeah. Well, Maria thanks. Jose, continue. Lourdes Martinez. And number three, I was born in Mexico. I wasn't born in Peru. Thank you. Continue. Uh, let's see. Ana Sonia Elizabeth. My wife and I was in Mexico. My was. wife and Excuse I me. was. Are you sure? It were, were. Excuse uh -huh. me. Were because there are, there are the two boats. people. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Boats. Uh -huh. <clears throat> Sarai Trejos. Continue. This was a little bit Okay, thank you. All right. Let's see. Hey, great job. Excellent. Excellent. We, we did it right. It. <laughs> we got it. Awesome. Now, let's move on. Let's move on. And it says lesson objective. Build English conversation skill, conversational skill with this lesson on past tense questions. Practice forming past tense questions using the verb to be by asking a person about his or her background. For example, you will be able, you'll be able, were you born in this city? Where were you born? When were you born? And how? All were you when you came to this country. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to ask and answer yes or no questions. And WH questions using was and where. Okay, let me just double check here. We have already studied that topic. We are not going to stop because that's related to was and where. Um, the knowledge check. Which option is correct? Is a correct way to answer this question. The number one says, were you a good student in high school? Who has the answer? Yes, I was. Okay. Yes, I was. Uh, let's continue. Evelyn, put this word in correct order. You born where up. Uh, you need to put the sentence in order. What okay. will be the right answer? Okay. Uh, were you born in this city? Were you born in this city? Okay. Thank you. Uh, I want to listen to somebody else. Andrea Estera Costa. The next one. It says, my favorite subjects were math and science. Mm -hmm. What would be the best answer? Why were, no, creo que sería what, what were your favorite subject in school? Okay. Vicente Israel. Yes. Teacher. Which is, which is correct? On the number four. Number four, okay. Uh, let's see. The last one. No. Where... Oh. When was Peter born? When was Peter born? Thank you. Andrea okay. Esther, choose yeah. the best question to match this response. I was 15 years old. Paul, uh, how old were you in 
Great job. We did it. Excellent. Again, remember that you are going to complete the platform alone. Okay, that's the reason why we're taking advantage of the time. Then it says, build English conversational skills with the phrase used to, uh, which you can use to describe your childhood or past. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements, negatives, and short answers with used to. Learn English phrases like, I used to be very uh, messy when I was a kid, but now I'm very neat. And I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. Another English compre comprehension exercise is included. Now let's watch to the video. Hi everyone. By the end of this class, you'll be able to discuss your childhood habits using used to. Let me give you a couple of examples. When I was a kid, I used to be very messy, but now I'm very neat. I used to have a lot of hobbies, but now I don't have any free time. I didn't used to follow politics, but now I read the newspapers every day. You'll also listen to a short conversation which illustrates how this topic is used. Let me get started by presenting some structure. As I mentioned, what we're going to do is we're going to try to become familiar with the usage of used to. And in this class, what we're going to do is we're going to become familiar with making positive statements and negative statements using used to. So here are a couple of examples that we want to learn. I used to collect comic books. I didn't used to collect anything, but now I collect art. Um, and I'm just borrowing the examples that are here, but of course I'll give. Okay, before to continue, for you to understand it better, used to is, I mean, we use that expression in order to talk about things that you did in the past, but you don't do them anymore in the present. Is that clear? For things yeah. that you did in the past, but you don't do them anymore. Mm -hmm. In Spanish, solía. That's what it means. I used to. Solía. Solía. Mm -hmm. ¿Ya han escuchado esa expresión? Yes. Solía tomar varias bar yes. pasadas de cerveza. <laughs> but not anymore. <laughs> or I just I'm on it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, solía tomar bastante agua, pero no. Not now. Not anymore. Used okay? to. Used to. Solía. Solo son ejemplos. Solía. Okay. Solía. I used not to. Not real life. I used <laughs> to go running. But now I don't do exercises. Okay? Is that clear? Okay. So clear, Leah. Mm -hmm. clear. All right. So I used to drink a lot of Coke, but now I drink a lot of water. I used to drink a lot of coffee, but now I, I drink orange juice a lot. Is it clear? Clear. All right, let's continue. More details about this in just one second. But the first thing that I would like to do at this time is that I would like to have you listen to a conversation and you will learn how this topic is used 
and after that I'm going to start explaining how to structure these sentences together. So let's do that right now. Let's listen to that conversation that I'm talking about. Thanks for taking the time to speak with me, Jerry. Oh, it's my pleasure. You have a beautiful accent. Where did you grow up? I grew up in England, in a city called Brighton. Were you popular when you were growing up? Not really. I wasn't unpopular, but I wasn't in the popular crowd at school. I had a nice group of friends, though. How did you like school? Oh, I loved school. I was a great student. My mother actually taught at my primary school. I always thought that was terrific. What about your free time as a child? Did you have a hobby? I used to love to draw. Later I learned to paint, and I still do that. Actually, I have some paintings in a gallery right now. That's impressive. Well, it's a very small exhibit, but it's something I really enjoy. Did you have a favorite game when you were growing up? I used to play video games a lot as a kid. The video games then were very different from the games now. I didn't have a favorite, though. I liked a lot of them. What about a favorite place? Hmm, my favorite place. I used to go to a summer camp in Ireland. I loved that. I got to go horseback riding almost every day. Do you still go to Ireland? No, not very often. Let me start by explaining this chart. First of all, let me just get the concept out of the way. Used to refers to something that you regularly did in the past, but you don't do that anymore. And let me get started by explaining positive statements. So what I'm going to do at this time, I'm just going to put the formula here and we're going to try to make sense of the positive statements that are outlined there for us. So what we're going to do at this time is we're, we're going to borrow that first example that you see there. So we have I is the subject and then this follows used to and then we're going to have the verb. It's going to be in the present. So I used to and in this case be. very messy but uh, now um, very neat there we go so the subject in our sentence is I am gonna go ahead and play with the colors right now uh, this follows used to and then we have the verb to be now this just happens to be the verb that we're using in this example but it's not always going to be the verb to be and then finally we're, we're going to have some sort of complement that um, uh, in order to finish that idea there and so now let's try to make a couple of more examples so I'm going to mention some of my own so I used to and I'm going to say I used to play a lot of sports when I was a kid um, and well we follow the structure um, we have a subject then this follows used to then we have the verb in the present tense and then we have some sort of complement at the end now let me present the negative structure let me present how we're gonna make negative statements so previously we learned that we can make positive statements with used to now we're going to talk about negative statements the only thing that's going to change to our previous structure is that we're going to include didn't alright so that's what I want you to notice and also I want you to notice that used to will no longer be in the uh, it will no longer be in the past and now it's going to be in the present and that's because of this auxiliary verb that you see here so we're going to have the subject plus didn't and then used to will be in the present. It's not going to be in the past like we saw it in our positive statements. And the rest will pretty much stay the same. Uh, so the subject plus didn't used to plus the verb in the present and then whatever complement exists. So in this case, um, we're gonna, I'm going to go ahead and write uh, a couple of examples here. So some of the ones that I mentioned as we began the class. Let me go ahead and give another example here. I'm going to say I didn't used to collect anything 
but I do now. There we go. And there is one last way on how to express negative statements, and that is using never used to. And it's quite similar. So let me give you an example about this. I never used to play sports, okay, but now I play every day. So we can also make negative statements using never used to. Okay, so the subject plus never used to, and that's going to follow the verb in its present form. And then whatever complement exists. I never used to play sports. I never used to worry about money. I never used to play sports, but now I play tennis, just like you see on the example there. And the last thing that I would like for you to do is to tell me what did you used to do when you were a child? Did you used to play sports? Okay. Was the explanation clear, guys? Or do you have any doubts? It's clear, teacher. Okay. So you can say, I, I used to wash my clothes when I was a kid, but now my wife does that. Okay. <laughs> Not anymore. A machine. A machine does. Oh, 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 you can say that. But now <laughs> the washing machine does it for me. All right. Yeah, right. Cool. Now let's verify this information here. I need some volunteers to complete this one. Uh, Vicente, the number one, yes, please. Did. Where did Jerry grow up? According to the video. According to the video. Oh, He's according lady, to. Right? According to the right Shoot. sentences, what would be the right answer for this question? Where did Jerry grow up? She grew up in Bridgeton, England. The last one. Okay. Carlos, did Jerry have a did Jerry have a hobby? Oh. Uh... Jerry used to paint, mm -hmm. and she is still painting today, I think. And she still paints today. Paints today, sorry. Yes, thank you. Uh, let's see. I want to select Giovanni. Are you here? Sarai Trejos, choose the best response for this question. What games do you used to play when you were a kid? I used to play get basketball and football when I was a kid. Thank you. The first one. All right. So, volunteers. Evelyn. Yes. The next one. It says, choose the best response to this question. What do you use to collect when you were a kid? No. Uh, is uh, the number three? I no. no. The number the number one. I used yes. to collect comic books mm -hmm. when I was a kid. Thank you. The last one, Carlos. My last job was easy and relaxing. Uh huh. Yes, Carlos. Uh, sorry, teacher. It's about the my the second the second question. I want to change my um, answer mm -hmm. because in the second said the uh jerry used to paint and she's still and um uh, or i confused about that because in the video no um 
is used to no sorry it's okay it's okay okay mm -hmm. yes 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 no i confused sorry number five okay for the number five um uh, let me see my last job my last job was easy and relaxing relaxing mm -hmm. okay i i used to i used to okay yes the first orange all right let's see nos equivocamos en una choose the best response for this question what games do you used to play when you were a kid i used to aquí ya tenemos el pasado used to entonces sería la segunda opción yes. i used Second. to play basketball I used and to play. yeah right mm -hmm. when i was a kid okay there you go great we got it excellent <clears throat> uh-huh now let's see all right it says build lesson objective build english conversational skills with the phrase used to which you can use to describe your childhood or past by the end of this class, you will be able to form questions, statements, negative and short answer we use too. Learn English phrases like, what sports do you use to play when you were a kid? Do you use to collect things when you were a kid? And what do you use to do for fun when you were a kid? Questions with used to. Okay, I believe we are going to review this information on Monday. I'm going to give Monday. you I'm going to give you one minute to ask questions or if you have some doubts. I have a question. No, it's mm -hmm. about the topic. <laughs> uh, okay. Because I remember that in the WhatsApp group, mm -hmm. uh, someone said that yes, that tomorrow uh, we will have a class. I am not sure about it. No, that was a misunderstanding. Actually, uh, I had two groups, actually. I have basic and I have intermediate one, which is your group. So on Monday, the basic two group didn't have class because mm -hmm. I was, I mean, I had some issues with, with Zoom. It got blocked and they couldn't take the class. So that's the reason why they are going to take it tomorrow. But from coordination, they made a mistake. This, they sent the information to the wrong group, which is yours, not to the basic two. Okay, so you are okay from Monday to Thursday. Today is Thursday. You're going to have a long week. And tomorrow, no classes at all. No okay. classes. Clear. Any other question that you might have before letting you go? Vaya, ¿qué les ha parecido hasta el momento las clases? ¿Cómo se sienten? ¿Sienten que van entendiendo? ¿Sienten que eh, están bien explicadas la, las, las clases? ¿O ya hay algo que pudiéramos mejorar? No, sí está bien explicado, teacher, pero como usted dice, bueno, el, el viejo refrán, la práctica hacia el maestro. Sí, eh, sí aquí en, en el inglés... Quizá eso es lo que, lo que interesa para lograr el, el, el aprendizaje, practicar. Y ayer usted nos decía que una, el que estábamos usando los irregular verbs, ese es de memor, memorizar, esa es una tarea bastante, bastante buena. Correcto. Pero sí, ahorita to, todo está bien. En, en mi caso, yo voy entendiendo bien. Uh -huh. Y pues, este, ahí vamos a estar practicando porque... Y cuando uno practica con, con el maestro es eh, el momento justo para, para corregir, corregir cuando uno, cuando uno este, use a mistake. Correcto. Vaya. Uh -huh. Y para que se los aprendan de verdad los verbos, ya les voy a mandar unos audios que conseguí para que uh -huh. se les haga más fácil para la pronunciación y todo. Ok. okay. Te, tengo que terminar acá la clase. Nos okay, quedamos good. hasta acá. Cualquier pregunta, consulta, la hacen en WhatsApp. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Feliz fin de semana. Okay. Thank you very much. Si no han cenado, nice, buen provecho. Have a nice night. Nice weekend. See you on Monday. See you.
See you Monday, teacher. Oh, really? Bye. Bye. See you Monday, Bye. too. Monday. All right. Thank you. Have a nice weekend, everybody. You too. Thank you. You too.